Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I went to Anime Matsuri this past weekend, and I had a lot of fun. Me and my best friend stay at a hotel nearby. We don't stay at the Hilton because it's so expensive. The walk from our hotel to the convention center is about 8 to 10 minutes long. We had to go into the parking garage, use the elevator to go to the second floor, take the skywalk to the hotel, and then take the hotel skywalk to the convention center, which was a little bit of pain in the butt, but it wasn't too bad. It really sucked at night though when it was cold and I was in my cosplay. We walked around the dealer's room and at first I didn't see anything I liked. And then I saw this, those little pictures drawn onto the back of the artist alley pictures and I thought it was really cute. After the dealer's room closed, we went up to the third floor because we could hear music. And there was a bunch of people standing around, dancing, listening to music. It was really nice. I will say this, the panels I did go to for this con, they started on time, surprisingly, and there wasn't much of a line. So that was nice, because in the past few years, it's been pretty bad. The concert did start 30 minutes after it was scheduled to, but that's completely normal for a concert, so I don't mind. This guy was trying to get high fives, but I was holding my shovel in my left hand, so I just used my shovel. So me and my friends went to their little secret corner over. area, and it's very away from everyone, which was nice. And you're gonna see a door right there. And some girls were knocking on it, and at first we were like, we're not opening it. But apparently they'd locked themselves in there, and it's in like a fire exit. So all I could think about was the game Until Dawn, as I went over to open the door for them. So. Um, you're welcome ladies. Sorry y'all got stuck in there <laughs> that we didn't open it for a while. Me and two other friends happened to stumble across this panel. We were just wandering around aimlessly and it's some kind of idol panel? We didn't stay for the whole thing though. We went to the sewing panel. They hinted about glow sticks, which was really fun, but I proceeded to lose it right after the panel. He then went to a pattern panel by God Save the Queen, and it was very helpful, but at the same time I was a little lost, because I'm still really new at sewing. I haven't even really missed my sewing but at the same time I did learn quite a bit of things, and she was very nice. But we did leave after a while. My two friends already knew most of this stuff and they were a little bored. So we went to the hotel room instead. Well, their hotel room. T-Rexes. T-Rexes everywhere. After I left their hotel room, I kind of had a funny memory kind of pop up. See, two years ago, I was at Matt Surrey, but I also did not stay at the Hilton. And right into the chandelier, I asked a man working there how to get to the elevator that was going to take me to my friend's room. So I just asked, where's the west corner or west tower? And he immediately goes, why? Are you not staying here? And I'm, I'm a terrible liar. I'll tell you that now. I don't ever expect me to lie. Just, I can't do it. And so I just kind of like, no. And immediately my best friend grabs my arm and just starts walking. He just goes, keep walking. And then the man working there pulled out his like walkie talkie and like started calling people. Like I almost got kicked out of Hilton. It was great. But it was also terrifying for me because I'm just not a lying person. It's just not my thing. But every time I walk in there, I always see the chandelier. And I just, uh And my friends always pick on me for it because I'm the one who would get us all in trouble.
I could not miss the Nerd Lust show. Hey, I've seen it in the past room. two other years. So, so this is the third year I was going to see it. I was so excited. And surprisingly, the line oh, was right. pretty friendly. Well, Everyone that was high five each other, is which was cool. Over. At the same time, all I could think about was catching on front. I'm trying to figure out where I am. And I'm walking back to my hotel room. So I don't stay at the hotel. I absolutely love Nerdlesque. It's so much fun. You do have to be 18 and up, so I have to cut some of the video short because I gotta keep this video kind of friendly. Stella Chu performed to Let It Go from Frozen, dressed as Kylo Ren, and it was so good. I wish I got the whole thing on camera. The Morning Musume concert was absolutely amazing. I wasn't really expecting much because I didn't know any of their music beforehand, but I'm so glad I didn't miss it. It was so good. And the girls had so much energy and they were so good at dancing and singing. I kind of wish I had one of those fancy low light things that other people had in front of me. It's not like it hit me in the eye, so I can deal with it. Thank you! Woo! 